So we're back. We're back and we're about almost halfway done with, with the cigar. So. Yeah, we've been smoking this thing, man. It, you know, know why? Because it's that. It's that. It's actually that good. Yeah, you know what? Uh, I always like to point out. <laughs> you know what, guys? <laughs> yeah, y'all. Um, this cigar, the flavor when it first started off, it was really strong spice, cedar spice. Uh, goodness, it was. It, it's a spicy, strong, flavored cigar, full-bodied flavored cigar. It, the, the body's actually around medium, medium to full, I guess. I would say more towards medium. It has good flavor. Like I, like he said, it was spicy at first, and then it kind of kind of dimmed down a bit and but it's 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 a really good cigar and I'm, it's like it's got a nice tangy flavor to it and I don't know what the hell you, you <laughs> it mellowed out it mellowed out and now it's uh, now it's nice and smooth um, you know what I was thinking though like I was telling you dude this is a cigar that I would probably not have smoked or picked out like the flavor is like something I would never go for in and of itself, though, man, it is such a good dang cigar. Like, it's not my flip, oh, but but actually it made me love it, dude. And I think if you got a box of these, let them rest for a long time, these flavors will mellow and turn into a, just a, a phenomenal smoking experience. It's just, it, it's good. It really is good. If it makes me, uh, you know, Mr. Freaking, I like sweet Padron fermented goodness. <laughs> To like the spiciness, man. That that's that's the same. That's saying a lot. Yeah, he's probably the most fickle, picky cigar smoker on the board. Yeah. Yeah. So what's next? Uh, so we have a bunch of stuff next. We have uh, Jeebus's movie review. You know, Je- Jeebus. What what have you seen? What what do you like, man? What what what's good you know, up there? This, this, Actually, I, I didn't see this movie this past week. It, it had been out already for the longest. I'm not sure if it's on a DVD. I think I might have seen a bootleg version of it. I don't remember. <laughs> I think that's, yeah. Uh, I saw Wanted, you know, that movie about the bunch of assassins and with Angelina Jolie. Yeah. Don't watch it. Really? Huh? Just don't watch it. Save yourself. <laughs> but, Jeebus, what about all the sexiness from Angel- Angelina? I, no. Not worth no, it. No, not worth it at hey, all. Hey, were you tripped out, man, to find out that Voight is her dad? <laughs> Looks nothing like her. I was, I, it boggled my mind a bit, but I've come to terms with it. And her mom, like, I don't know how they, like, they aff together and created <laughs> such a hotness. Like, <laughs> like her mom is all right, you know, and Voight is Voight, you know? <laughs> I think his name really matches him. Nonetheless, like, freaking, she's just, like, smoking or was, you know? In that movie, like, by then, she, in that movie, she was all scrawniness, right? Yeah, like, yeah. Some, something it, something about since her, it's her way of, you know, how she said that people in Africa don't have food to eat. So, I guess in refuge, in homage to oh, them, homage. she, uh, she starved herself so she could know what they go through. You know, instead of sending food to right, them, instead you know? of helping? <laughs> yeah. She starved herself. I'm just gonna not eat the food that I got in my fridge and stuff. Yeah, and go back just let it go to waste. Yeah. Why do they do so much <laughs> like this, dude? I don't know. Don't watch it. Watch it if uh, if you absolutely have to. If you don't, you could do what I did. Just watch half an hour of it and then fall asleep. That's my movie review. <laughs> so you didn't even finish eating all of it? No. <laughs> I'm not gonna knock it because I saw that last Harry Potter movie, dude. That was the first movie ever I knocked out in theater with. Dude. I couldn't take it. I was just like, oh, come on. Fucking do some spells or shoot some wizards or something, you know? Get caught with some illegal potions or something. I swear, I swear, that's not mine, you know? That's not mine, yeah. I took it from some other fool. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm holding his wand for him, you know? That's what I'm doing. That's nasty. Doesn't that sound nasty, dude? I've, I've never been. fallen asleep in a theater thing. See Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, I will. Yeah. But, uh, uh, what's next? Uh, okay, this one's been waiting for a long time. Uh, uh, what is it? Magnum PI. By the way, it was his birthday a while ago. That's right. Birthday, Andy. Birthday, Magnum. Uh, what is it? Uh, he sent us some pictures and wanted us to draw them. And five them. months later, <laughs> yeah, seriously, it's been a long time. Andy, we got to it. <laughs> Actually, I've had it for for a while, but uh, I didn't do this. This was a. Uh, it was done. It's KRS One, and it was colored by 
Sergio's niece and sister, like that. That's, he did a pretty good job. You know, not bad for kids. Not bad. Not bad at all. I decided to have some fun too while I was waiting for them to do it. So this is this is Sergio's version of freaking KRS One. Uh, for those of y'all who don't know, and I'd be really surprised if you don't know, uh, KRS One is got to be the dopest uh, MC. Period. Uh, just teacher, philosopher, uh, just all around intelligent ass mofo. KRS One. Great lyrics. If you guys were around in the 90s, early hip hop, you know, you guys heard of KRS One. Uh, so there you go, Andy. Check it out. We draw it, man. We drew it. Look at that. Nice, huh? So I'm gonna, I'm, I've, I've kept it. I like it, man. Nominated. You gonna put it up on the fridge? Probably. All right. I signed it too. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't dated the thing. Look at that. <laughs> That's right. Sergio Cool Guy signature right there. So um, thanks, Andy. I had a lot of fun with this, man. So did the, you know, Denise and sister did that. Jeebus just can't draw for crap, so. No, I, did, I don't even try. <laughs> <laughs> but is that it? Is that it? Or mm. is there anything else you got? Stevo47 gave me a, a word, a Spanish word that he wanted to find out. The LF, LFD, La Flor Dominicana, came out with the new cigar size. It's it's uh, the small ones. He's gotten, I don't know if you guys seen the pictures in the, in the cigar porn thread. He's gotten like boxes of these little things, man. So And they look good, dude. You can also check the What Are You Smoking thread. He really? smokes a lot of them. He takes yeah. pictures of them. There it is. Uh, the name of the cigar is called, uh, the size is called Garajo. You, it's kind of like, I don't know if you guys have ever heard Corojo, but that one is Garajo. And he wanted to find out what Garajo meant. Well, I, t I mean, I, I immediately told him, well, it's kind of like saying fuck you. <laughs> kind of. It's it, you, you use it in the form of, you know, no seas Garajo. You know, but it, it doesn't mean fucker there. It just means like, yeah, no, like don't be flamboyantly excited, I guess. And then, but you could say uh, a lot of uh, South and Central Americans like to say "vete al carajo," uh, and that's kind of like the real term of it. And I had a wiki this thing, man. It turns out it was actually like the, the on the Spanish ships, the what is it called, the crow's nest was called the Carajo, so as a punishment for uh, soldiers who wanted to mutiny, uh, they, the, the captain would send them up to the Carajo, so they would tell them, vete al Carajo, so it was kind of like, uh, it turned into kind of like a, a hell thing, you know, like, go to hell, vete al Carajo, that's what it means, go to hell. Uh, that's it. That's pretty much it, and then that's, that's our lesson on the thing. <laughs> on Carajo. And uh, pretty, we're pretty much nearing the limit right now, so... Uh, and we'll be back with more stuff. The cigar is tasting really good, dude. We'll right? probably be done by the next one, or almost about done, so... Yeah, almost about done. Word up!